Hi, and welcome to my guide of the quest Throne of Miscellanea. The quest requirements are Heroes Quest and Fremic Trials, while there are actually no stats requirements. Items needed is a iron bar, some regular locks, one ring of any kind, as long as it is not enchanted, 15 GP or a bouquet of flowers. If you have a male character as your account, you will need to have one bow of any kind which you don't mind losing, except for magic and composite. If you have a female account, you will need to have a cake. If you have 45 woodcutting, I suggest you to bring a axe. And if you don't have that woodcutting level, you will either need to bring a good pickaxe and or either a harpoon or lobster pot. Besides from this, because we don't need to fight anything during this quest, just bring your weight reducing armor and we will need to run a bit during this quest. So let's take like two or three stamina potions. And for after the quest, I have brought some money to invest into the kingdom and also one teleportation method out of here. To get here, you will either need to ask the sailor in blue on the docks of Relaka and he will take you to the island for free. Or you could use the fairy ring with the combination code CIP. On the western side of the island, south of the fairy ring, just go stand in front of the castle to the market. And in here, if you don't have your bouquet of flowers right now, you should try to find an NPC with a red shirt and talk to the flower girl. Say yes, please. And you'll buy a bouquet of flowers for 15 GP. Once you have this, let's enter the castle. Now we will need to go to the second floor, doesn't matter which uh, staircase you take. I'm going to take the southern one because it's one square uh, closer. Now here, try to open the throne room door and the guard will stop you. Just skip through the dialogue and he will let you pass. Open the door once again and he will find King Vargas and the advisor Grim. Talk to the king. Select the first option, if I may be so bold. Alright, you've just offered yourself as the next regent for Miscellanea. He will agree if you marry into the royal family and also make peace with Etcetria. Okay, first we will need to get married into the royal family. Now you will need to convince either the prince or the princess to marry us. We will have to talk to the NPCs a lot and we just don't need to blindly skip through the dialogue with your spacebar. We will have to read it for some keywords. Now if you have a male character, let's open the northern throne room and enter the room just north of the king's room and there you'll find Princess Astrid. Talk to her. Once the conversation is over, just talk to her again. And now we just need to talk to her a couple of times and just agree with everything she says or give her the most likable answer. Just keep talking to her. Archery is a noble art. Talk to her again. Just laugh with her joke. Once you've run out of things to say, just go to your emotes and select the dance emote. You could do it twice if you want to. Next, talk to her again. When the only thing you say to her are some greetings, let's uh, right click and use the flowers on Princess Aswit. Say yes that they are for her. Talk to her again. And once again, that sounds like a great idea. I'm fond of it myself. Talk to her again. What happened next? 
All right, just normal greetings once again. Maybe let's do another dance emote. Now, because she has already mentioned archery to me, let's maybe use our bow and let's see if it works this time. Select the first option, yes. And she will take the bow. Talk to her again. And once again. I suppose you don't have much opportunity to. Talk to her again. And what a great bard he makes. Talk to her again. It's a lovely little country. Alright, once you talk to her again and she will only say the greetings, but in the greetings she actually says dear to you. Let's go to our emotes again and do the blow kiss emote. She will giggle. Next, let's use any of our rings, which are not enchanted, on the princess. Select yes. And she will agree to marry you. This is the first task done. But if you have a female account, you will have to go south of the king's room and you will need to talk to Prince Brand. It is pretty much the same thing that the male characters did to Princess Astrid. We will just need to keep talking to Prince Brand, complimenting him, laughing at his jokes and just tell him what he wants to hear. Then when he offers you to listen to his poem, select of course, I'd love to. And then to end the poem, you will need to select be still, my heart. Then you need to go to your emotes and do the clap emote. Then just talk to him a couple of more times with some flattering answers until the conversation has died again. Then just give him some flowers and say yes to give him to him. Then you just need to talk to him uh, once again with some flattering answers and then also listen to his saga. Once the conversation has died again and you only got greetings, then you can use your cake on it. Be sure to use your cake and not eat it and then use it on the prince. And then when he calls you darling, just do the same thing, do the blow kiss emote. And after that, you can use the ring on him and you will propose to him. If he doesn't accept the ring, just keep flattering again and then try again by using the blow kiss and then using the ring on him once again until he accepts. All right, now once the prince or the princess has agreed to marry you, depending if you are a male or a female character, this is the first task done and we will now need to head to Etcetria. So let's exit the castle. And from the castle, we will need to go east. East of the island, there will find the uh, castle of Etcetria. Once you've exited the castle grounds, just follow the path and you will reach the castle. Just keep going east. Alright, when you've reached Etcetria, let's enter the castle grounds and then enter the castle, enter the main room, then go south, open the large door and then uh, climb up the staircase. Go north, open another large door and in the bedroom you will find Queen Sigrid. Talk to her. But this time you can blindly press the spacebar until the conversation is over. Once it is over, let's return to King Vargas to tell him that he doesn't recognize Etcetria as a sovereign country. We will need to tell him that, so let's return to the king. I will see you there.
Alright, when we have returned to the throne room, let's talk to the King Vargas. Alright, after we have skipped through this dialogue as well, we will need to return to the Queen. This time we will need to tell her that her national anthem is insulting. So I will see you back in uh, Queen Sigrid's bedroom. Alright, when we've returned, let's talk to Sigrid. And she will agree to change the national anthem, but now we'll need to find a bard. And the bard is actually the prince of Miscellania, so let's head back to the castle of Miscellania and talk to Prince Brand. I will see you there. Alright, next to the throne room, let's talk to Prince Brand. Just skip through the dialogue and he will give you an awful anthem. Let's enter the throne room and we will now need to talk to Advisor Grimm. And he should change the awful. Just uh, exit the conversation by clicking on the floor for example and the awful anthem has been replaced by a good anthem. Let's give this to the Queen. Alright, when we've returned to the Queen, let's give her the good anthem and she should give you a treaty. We will need to give this to the King Vargas. So I will see you back all the way over there. Alright, open the throne room door, talk to King Vargas. But now he has a problem because he can't sign it with his malformed hand. He will actually need a large pen to be able to sign it. So let's exit the castle once again. 
but this time we will need to go to the mining sign which we have passed a couple of times just north of the islet north of the path to go to etc so exit the castle once again follow the path north except by following the path east when it splits we will need to go north and there we should find a mining sign and a smithing sign go to the smithing sign in the eastern building we should find Derek talk to him select the second option that you have a strange request and he will give you a giant nip use this arms on regular locks and you will get a giant pen let's give this to the king so he can sign the treaty Alright, return to the throne room, let's give him the giant pen. And now there's actually only one last thing that we will need to do, and that is to be accepted by the population. Now you start with 25%, unless you have killed some residents or stole from the stalls. But we must reach at least 75% favor to become the next ruler of miscellanea. To gain the population's support, we must assist some people with their jobs or stick with one job until you do that until 75%. So first, let's go outside because all the jobs are outside. And let's exit the castle. The first one, this will require 10 farming and 35 herblore. And this job is to assist Gardener Gunhild in the herb garden just outside of the castle walls. If you talk to her, if you don't have a rake, select the second option, what do you have for sale? And I'd like to have a rake and she will sell it to you for 15 GP. Now you can use this on the flax to rake it. And every wheat raked will give you 1% favor. But the problem is that after raking 3 wheats, you will need to wait for the wheats to respawn before you are able to rake it once again. Or you could try to hop some worlds. Now for the next job, it's a little bit east. Therefore, you will need to have 45 woodcutting and a good axe. You can simply chop down any of these maple trees to chop some invisible maple logs. By doing this job, you will assist Lumberjack Leif. You will not gain any locks in your inventory, and you will gain like one woodcutting experience every three locks or something. Every time you would cut an invisible lock, you will gain 0.33% favor. This is also the most AFK one, and I'd like this method the most. And I'm also going to stick with this job until I have reached 75%. Now for the next two tasks, I'm going to show it on my minimap while I am cutting some maple logs. The next task would be a little bit more east on the fishing docks. There you will need to assist the fisherman Frodi by catching either tuna and swordfish with the harpoon or fishing lobsters. You will gain 1% favor for every fish that you have caught. And then the final job that which you can assist to gain some favor is uh, north of the island. East of Derek at the anvil sign you will find a mining sign. Here you will need to help miner Magnus by mining coal. Every coal that you have mined will grant you 0.75% favor. Now you can continue doing one task or all four of them, why not, until you reach 100% favor. If you reach 100%, the helping NPC should mention that you've done enough. To know how much percentage that you have at the moment, you'll have to go to Advisor Grimm and he will tell you. I've put a timer on the screen to tell you when I'm done gaining the population's favor. After we have enough favor, 
just simply return to the king and you have become the next ruler of miscellanea also completed this quest
Alright, I just got 75%. I know that because I uh, just checked with uh, Advisor Grimm like two minutes ago. So I'm going to return to the king to complete my quest. And congratulations, you've completed the Throne of Miscellanea quest. You are awarded with one quest point and your subjects will collect resources for you now. Now we can invest our money into the kingdom to receive some items of your choice. This can either be maple logs, flax, coal, herbs or fish. To do so, you will need to talk to Grim. So let's talk to him and ask how the kingdom is faring. Let's select the first option and then do not skip through the dialogue. We will need to know how much our current approval is. For me it is currently 78%, so I will need to get 22 more percent after I'm done here. And you will now see this work distribution map. When you've completed the Throne of Michelina quest, you will have access to 10 workers. But after you've also completed the quest Royal Trouble, you will get 5 extra workers. Now I suggest to never have any workers on idle because then your workers will get paid for actually doing nothing. So I'm going to put everything actually on wood until I have 9 workers on wood and then I'm going to place one on let's say herbs for example. Then I can also just uh, withdraw and deposit some of my coffers. I'm going to deposit 1.5 million. And this will be enough for two full days. Now before I'm going to explain how to manage the Kingdom of Miscellanea, I'm quickly going back to the Maple Tree so I can gain my extra 22 experience favor, so I can end with 100%. Alright, so each worker will take each day 10% of what is currently in your coffers, up to a maximum of 50k or 75k. This depends if you have 10 or 15 workers. 
the maximum that you can put in your coffers is either 5 mil or 7.5 mil. The work that your workers do depends on how much fee they will get. The higher fee they get each day, the more work they will do. To get the maximum work done with 10 workers, you will need to have a minimum of 750k in your coffers each day, so they all have a maximum pay. If you have completed Royal Trouble, if you have not completed that quest, you can do it with 500k. The results of their work, however, depends on your approval rate. So always be sure that you get your approval back to 100% before claiming the gathered resources. You can get your resources simply by talking to the advisor Grimm. Now the amount of resources that you will get depends on the cost of each material. I'll put some links to third party websites in the description that will explain it better than me and it will also give all the percentages of every single resource and how much percentage each resource you will get. Links are in the description. Now one last thing. If you want to maximize the amount of bird nests that you want to get from maples, you will have to put 9 workers on them. Now with 100% approval rating and either 50 or 75,000 uh, GP each day investment, you will get 803 maple logs a day. Now if you would put a 10th worker on it, you will not reach the 900 maple logs threshold for each day therefore you will not get an extra nest because you will get a bird nest every 100 maple logs that you get so for the maximum bird nests you can go two days without restoring your approval rating to keep 1601 maple logs and then 16 nests every two days and the bird nests from teaks and mahoganies are actually one in 350 logs this was my guide how to complete the Throne of Miscellanea quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.